gave it to my friend. He looked at me and said, Eddie, this is horrible. You gotta talk about yourself. You gotta tell them about your experience in the class officer for the past two years. And you're an SLS leader. And you're doing international business with an interschool chair. Everything about your leadership. And that's how you tell them all. I looked back at him and I said, No, I'm not gonna say that in my speech. That's not what I want you to know. I'm going to tell you that we deserve a better academic life than this. Listen, if we are in the same course, but in different classes, then we deserve to have the same homeworks and tests. We deserve to have sessions after school, class, after school, for classes that we missed, and we deserve a more transparent grading system. That's what I'm going to accomplish for us next year. And why should we care? Because we must. Academic life is the foundation on which our school is built. Only after we improve our academic life can we truly tackle every other element of our school. Where we are met with doubt, mockery, and those individuals who tell us that we can't, we will respond by our never fading principle, we must. I see a school driven by the voices of driven by the voices of your voice, where we can be proud once again of our high quality education. And I stand here today to tell you that I will make this a reality of this. I'm here to ease us through the never ending academic struggle between who we are and what we hope to achieve. The most horrible feeling I know is a feeling of regret. I should have taken my class. I should I tried out for Sagi. I should have asked her out. But we are. And as we cast our ballots on Thursday, remember that you don't want to be the one who says, I should have voted for Eddie Kim. You want to be the one who says, yes, I voted for Eddie Kim. We must succeed. We will succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Tien has offered you academic reform. Eddie Tien is promising you a chance for hope. Eddie Tien is your next senator of academics.